Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to sell digital products on Google Sites. The first thing you want to do is go onto sites.google.com. Once on this page, from here you can tap on blank site. After selecting blank site, you'll now be able to edit your website. So you can change the site title right here. So let's say for example, I will be selling an ebook. So I'll simply type in the ebook's name right here. And I'll type in simple answers is the ebook's name. After you have typed in your website name that you'd like to use, you can also edit the title by changing the font style or the font size if you want by using any one of these menu options right here. If you'd like to also add a background image, you can do that by selecting image right there. If you'd like to change the header type, you can also do that as you can see right there. Once we have done that, you can go over to the left hand menu option and we are going to be uploading a image cover as we are going to be uploading the ebook cover. So I'm going to tap on images from the top right hand corner. Then I'm going to select upload after you have selected upload, you are going to select the ebook or the digital product that you plan on selling, the cover as you can see right there. So once you have added it, all you'll need to do now, if you'd like to add some information about it, you can also do that. For example, you could select text box and from there you could write out some information about it. Another way how you could do this is, for example, let me delete this. Another way you could do this is you could simply add a content block right here. So if I were to select this content block, then tap on the plus right there, tap on upload, then I'm going to select the same ebook cover. So I'll select it right here. Then from here, I could write some information about the ebook to make it even more appealing to my potential customers. So I could type in some information right here. If you would like to add more content, for example, if you would like to add a video or so on, you can also do that. Now for them to purchase my ebook, all I'll need to do, you have two options. You can either use PayPal or you can use Stripe. The reason why I recommend that you explore both options is depending on the country that you're planning to target your viewers. Some persons may not have access to PayPal, but they do have access to Stripe. And some persons may not have access to Stripe, but more than likely they have PayPal. Most persons tend to have PayPal. So what you'll need to do is go onto paypal.com. If you don't have an account already, you can create an account real quick. After you have created your account, you're going to tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on the settings cog, I want you to select seller tools in the top right hand corner. After you have selected seller tools, you will be redirected to this page and you're going to scroll down and you're going to tap on PayPal buttons. After you have selected PayPal buttons, you will be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do now, you could tap on buy now. So let's tap on buy now real quick. After you have tapped on buy now, you can see right here, you can select the product name. So I will enter the product name. I'll just select test. Then after you have done that, you can enter the price that you would like to sell it for. Let's say I'm selling it for $19.99. Then you are going to scroll down. You can select the button size, whether you like it to be small or large, as you can see right there. You can select the button text, buy now, or would you like to change it to pay now? You can choose either one of these options. You can e also change the country and language by tapping right there. And if you'd like to use a custom image, you can do that. And if it is a case that you'd like to add further product descriptions, you can tap right here to add it. Once you're finished, you'll simply scroll down and you're going to tap on save and create a button. So let's tap on that real quick. Then we are going to tap on copy code. After you have copied the code, you're going to go back into Google Sites. So we're going to go back into Google Sites real quick. 
then you are going to go over to the right hand menu option and we are going to select embed you are going to simply select embed and from there you are going to tap on embed code and you are going to paste the code right here then tap on go tap on insert once you have tapped on insert the button will be added as you can see right here now that the button has been added let's edit it so we can slightly pull this up right here so you can see the button right here to purchase so now all your customers will need to do is simply tap on this item to make their purchase once they have made their purchase you'll be able to email them the digital product the other option that i would recommend you use is stripe and the reason why i would recommend that you use stripe easier and you can automate it so once someone pays you'll be able to send them the product immediately without having to manually always emailing customers so all you'll need to do is create a stripe account once you have created your account you're going to tap right where you see share a payment link so you're going to tap right there after you have tapped on share a payment link, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you will see select product type. And we are going to simply select products and subscriptions. Then from there, you are going to see find product. And we are going to tap on add new product. After you have tapped on add new product, you are going to enter the product name. So remember, we are selling an ebook. So we are going to type in simple answers ebook right here. Then from there, you can add in a description if you want. After adding in the description, you can set the price that you want to sell it for. Once you have set the price, you can also upload an image. So right here, I'm going to be uploading the ebook cover. So I'll upload the ebook cover right there. After you have added the cover, all you'll need to do now, I'm going to be selecting one time purchase as it is not recurring. So you can see it right there. Then I'll tap on add product. Once the product has been added, you can see an example of it right here. So that is how it looks at the moment. You can scroll down and you can see if you would like to collect tax automatically or if you like to add custom fields, you can do that. If you like to require the customer's phone number or anything, you can do that. You can also tap on advanced options and from there, you can allow promotion codes if you want, allow business customers to provide tax ID or save payment details for further use if you'd want to do that. You can also change the call to action button right there from pay. So you can select book or if you would like to donate, you could tap on donate right there. But I'm going to leave it on pay. So after you have done that, you're going to go over to the top right hand corner tap on create link once you have tapped on create link you're going to be redirected to a new page you'll need to do now you can see your link right there but what i want you to do is tap right where you see buy button so you're going to tap on buy button after you have selected buy button you will see a preview of how it looks right there and you can scroll down if you like to only access the button so let's say it's a case that you want to add a button just like what we did with PayPal. So you'd like to only add the stripe button right here. All you'll need to do is select button. Then from there, you could copy the embed code and you could paste it. So for example, you could tap on copy code right there. Then you'll go over to the right hand menu option, tap on embed, select embed code, and you'll paste in the code that you have copied. Then tap on next then tap on insert and you would have now added your stripe payment button right here as you can see but if it is a case that you would like to add the complete image all you need to do now we'll go back here and from here you will need to tap on save changes by the way if it is a case that you want to use only the button so you'll tap on save changes and then you would copy the code sorry about that You'll need to save changes. If it is a case that you want to use the card, which is the option right here, all to do is simply copy and paste it same way using the embed code, as you can see here. 
so your customers will simply tap on buy now and they'll be able to buy your digital product hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe